Hi, I'm Jeff Ullman. I've been a professor at Stanford since 1979, and I've also written 17 textbooks on topics including databases, compilers, and automata. I'd like to tell you about a course on automata and language theory that I've prepared for students around the world to take for free online. A number of years ago, Stanford took a survey of its graduates five years after they got their undergraduate degrees, asking which of their courses they actually used in their jobs. Computer science graduates naturally cited our, our introductory programming course and required sophomore level courses covering basic data structures and algorithms and system software. No surprises there. But after the required courses, we found that CS154, the automata course on which this set of videos is based, placed second behind only database systems. What was it about automata that people were using? Finite automata, regular expressions, and context-free grammars are ideas that have stood the test of time. They are essential tools for compilers, of course, but more importantly, they are used in many systems that require input that is less general than a full programming language, yet more complex than push this button. Often, building an application requires you to design a little language using ideas from automata theory. Now, the concept of undecidable problems and intractable problems serve a different purpose. Undecidable problems are those for which no computer solution can ever exist, while intractable problems are those for which there is strong evidence that, although they can be solved by a computer, they cannot be solved sufficiently fast that the solution is truly useful in practice. Understanding this theory, and in particular being able to prove that a problem you are facing in your work belongs to one of these classes, allows you to justify taking another approach, simplifying the problem or writing code to approximate the solution, for example. During the course, I'm going to prove a number of things. The purpose of these proofs is not to torture you or to confuse you, but rather, understanding how these proofs, especially inductive proofs, work, lets you think more clearly about your own tasks. I do not advocate formal proofs that programs are correct. But whenever you attempt something a bit complex, it is good to have in mind the inductive proof that would be needed to guarantee that what you are doing really works in all cases. The automata class will consist of 22 lecture videos of between 15 and 45 minutes in length with integrated quizzes. There will also be standalone homeworks and a final exam. The course grade will be based solely on the homeworks and exam. But thanks to my able teaching assistant, Zhu Chen Guang, there are also two optional, not required, Java programming projects that you may attempt. Thank you. I hope to see you in class.